Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Tauruses out there. This is the third week of November 2016. It is a fire week. It is the Energy Vibration of the Sun, which is wonderful. The Sun comes out. It is bringing new life and energy. The energy, overall energies is going to be the chariot, which is helping you to move yourself out of a situation that no longer serve you. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for the likes and the shares. Please thumbs up and like these videos and share these videos this week we're going to begin with the um, energy of fire but the zodiac energy of water so it's basically a week of cleansing for everyone out there your color in this week it is going to be a more of a yellow color okay so um, this is wonderful um, the energy of this week is going to be wonderful um, because a lot of um, changes are going to be happen and um the number for the week is a number it is it is you know the number three use the world energy on monday when we look at monday for you guys for you tauruses if you were going through a situation a conflict uh, um with other people you're going to be victorious and triumphant in this week this is wonderful you're starting the week with um, the energy vibration of also the chariot, but you're also having the energy vibration of the sword, the, um, the, the ace of sword, which is wonderful. It's always a triumphant and a victory and both triumphants and victory. So for all you Taurus people, Monday is just one of the best wonderful days. On Tuesday, we have the energy vibration with the star bringing out a message about financial abundance. So you will be getting a message. Some people will be getting a message on Tuesday saying that a financial situation that you have been working on is going to be extremely good. Of, uh, for people who are also working for other people, they will realize that a situation is here. But it's a week of mostly people who are working together with um, each other. On um, the Wednesday, the energy vibration of the moon bringing out and showing you why you have been working so hard. You know, you are trying to bring out something and you're working on something, but there are people who are working against you underneath the veil, which you're not seeing. And despite what they're doing, whenever you have faith and know that it's going to work out, it's going to work out. As we look at the energy vibration for um, Thursday, we have the energy vibration of the sun and the sun is bringing out the six of pentacles. This is so wonderful. So in all, you have the energy vibration of the pentacles, which is your energy vibrations. And this is um, this is good. As we look at Friday, whatever um, burden you were carrying is no longer here because the eye princess is going to come up and she's going to show you that all that you have been working on, it's going to come out because the burden you have, you have been carrying the financial burden and the burden to get things going is going to, is no longer going to be there because you have three pentacles in a row, victory, success, and three pentacles in a row for you, Tauruses. These are wonderful energies. As we look on Saturday, and Saturday is another wonderful, wonderful energies for Saturday because the energy of the world is here. And what is happening is that you are seeing clearly what has been happening and you're seeing clearly your way out and whatever situation that has been blocking you, um, you're seeing clarity. So whatever vibration you were vibrating in, you're going to start vibrating with a higher vibration because the sun, the week of the sun brings in new energy and it is the, also the week of water together with the sun is cleansing so whatever we're blocking you this is just going to be one of those beautiful weeks for you Tauruses as we look at Saturday the energy and this is just so wonderful the energy of the Emperor is here and the energy of the Emperor is saying to you you have all you're working on whatever you're working on whatever you're in stay in that um um, position and stay and do that because it's going to bring you a lot of abundancy your overall energies is going to be the energies of the seven of sword whenever the energies of the seven of sword comes up in reverse that means you have realized who the people who were stealing stuff from you who were 
um, profiting from you. That is the energy of the seven of sword It's showing you and it's, it's showing you that it's no longer happening. What is going to happen is that you are going to expect people coming in your life now to advise you and help you on your journey further. I want to say thank you for being here and stay tuned for the general readings. This is the energy, the energy vibration for the week number um, 46. I want to say um, this has uh, been a wonderful week for a lot of people. The um, energy of the sun came in twice in this month also. So it's a wonderful energy. We have the number 46 energy from the energy vibration cards. And the energy says a thinking man. This energy is not only for a man, it's for everyone. Each and every one of us have the masculine and feminine side of us. And whenever we start to think and we start to um, um, con uh, connect with our consciousness uh, and our eye self, what happened is that that is the masculine part um, of our um, own essence that is awakening us and helping us to look at ourselves from a different point of view. Whenever the energy vibration of the thinking man comes up, it is when you're connecting with yourself, when you're looking back and you're trying to see um, what were um, the actions that you take. Um, um, and now you're trying to um, make these actions, you're realizing that some actions that you take wasn't the right actions and you're trying to change that energy vibration to a more higher energy vibration in the way of love. Because sometimes most of us, because we were vibrating in the th third dimension frequency, we work only out of our energy. So we were only focused on the materialistic aspect around us, but never on the true love. Love is the only thing that's real. Time isn't real. Nothing isn't real except from love. And now we're looking back and looking at ourselves, and we're trying to connect with ourselves, which is so beautiful. As I look at the next energy vibration card, we have the energy of coming apart. Whenever that energy vibration of coming apart is when you've reached a point in your life that you can go no further because you have no idea what is the next step to do. And at that point, you feel as if you're coming apart because um, you're fighting um, with inner conflicts, you're fighting with what decision should I take? And most of the times we have these is when we have relationship situations like work. Do I want to stay at this work? Do I want to vibrate with these people? They're not, but I don't feel that I'm vibrating at the same energy vibration with these people. Do I want to stay here? Do I want to move on? Do I want to live at this place or do I want to move on? Do I want to share this apartment with my friends or do I want to move on? That is the point when you come between um, the two worlds, the worlds of uh, um, hoping in your heart to love or you're going to go on an ego base uh, to see um, what is the more financial um, for Dale that is going to come out of this. And most of the time we wrestle with ourselves when we are in a relationship and we want to know what is the next step. Um, are we going to continue with this relationship? Do we see our lives? Uh, um, how do we see ourselves in the next five and 10 years? And you sit really to Russell. We have this too when we're changing careers. It's a time when you think, well, I know this and I've been doing this, but actually I love this. What if I start doing what I really love. So that is a time where we all come apart when the masculine and the feminine are sitting on opposite um, um, side of us and we need to get them in balance and join them back together. As we move on, the last card we have is regeneration. And whenever regeneration comes up, it is the time when we have gone through both the process of thinking, coming apart, trying to make the decision, and then regeneration, you're actually transforming yourself because if you decide to change your career and to do something else, you're actually moving out of one energy vibration in another one. And most of the time, this is, these are just examples. And <laughs> most of the time, whenever we have done that, sometimes it's just our inner guides 
or, or, or mighty I am present self, our intuition is pushing us to move on out of a situation and let us know that it is the end of a lesson or it is the end of this career or it is the end of this relationship. And at that time, you're accepting it. So whenever you accept it, whenever you accept it, then the masculine and the feminine side of you will come back and balance together and you are moving on to something which is much better in your life. Actually, I love this week because um, four and six is ten, so it is new beginnings. It's new beginning. Each and every one will have the effect of a new beginning in your life in some way or another. It can be the end of a course. It can be a end of a study, but it, there is going to be new beginnings, and this is when you have with the energy of the thinking man coming apart because you need to make the decision and then you actually make that decision and you're transforming yourself. You're transforming yourself as a person, but also your consciousness to a higher level of vibration. I want to say thank you for being here. Please like, share these videos, thumbs up, and I'll talk to you next week. Namaste.